It's your Feel Good Breakfast Show here on S3. It's called Expresso, as you know. Tell friends, tell family, and continue spreading the love because we love rugby and we love Varsity Cup rugby. And UWC Rugby claimed their first Varsity Cup victory in the round three of the brand new season when they beat Madiba's 47-40 in a hard-fought victory at the Tuck Stadium over the weekend. The win was much needed for the team who drew 28-28 against UFS Shimlers in the opening round and suffered their first loss of the season against defending Varsity Cup champions Martis. But don't worry, it's not all doom and gloom. I mean, this year the boys from UW's not only boast a new head coach but a positive attitude as they always do in a winning spirit in the country's top Varsity rugby competition. Joining us in studio to talk about the Varsity Cup opening rounds, please Please welcome UWC Rugby Manager Clement, sometimes called Clement in parts, <laughs> Trout, along with UWC Captain Peter Stale Swanapool, as well as Vice Captain Lyle Hendricks and outside centre Hayton Toppy Ratcher <laughs> on Expressa. It's Trout! <laughs> yes, indeed! That's it. I, I, had to, I had to go rugby commentary. I'm sorry, James. Welcome! Thank Look you, at you. Thanks, thanks. By the way, how does UWC feel about having some of the best looking rugby players in the Varsity <laughs> Cup? Uh, just, I need to ask you that as an administrative figure. Um, how is it feeling? <laughs> <laughs> I guess you probably asked that guys that's putting us on the map. <laughs> I, I know, I just, I, unless you pick them and you know that guys, there's a TV thing coming, yeah. right? It's all the good, the good looking ones come through. Anyway, I'm just kidding. It's but, the default. <laughs> yeah, exactly, the default ones. But just in terms of, of the guys and the way they're doing, I think it's always good to get a, a little uh, look and feel as to, to how the gents are doing. I know that the results haven't always been going positively, but now there's one recently that you can take from, take, learn from, and then move forward. So, how's it been going at the, the structures of UWC Rugby? Uh, well, Carl, I think um, for us it's more important about the program, not basically the results, you understand? Maybe Because we'll be going uh, forward, we'll be building our program and building the, the brand for UWC. Yes. So, we focused on short-term and long-term goals, but for now, results, although we're in the sports environment, the results are important, but for us, we'll be focused on our, our internal process and building our program going forward. Yeah, there we go. And it's good. It's a great po program as well. Yeah. Now, as you can see, the program's doing well for the gents because, I mean, <laughs> muscle tone-wise, we are the same. <laughs> uh, which is important. And I know that there's also the inclusion of a dynamic coach. Now, somebody who I know very, very well, uh, what, what I know from Paul True back in the day is that he's just like fitness first, talk later. <laughs> so let's just chat to the gents for a second. I'm going to start with you. I, I know that you uh, have, have encountered, uh, you know, Mr. True. Yeah. How has it been going under a new coach like that? It's been good. I feel we prepared this year very, very well. Uh, it's been showing in the games and I feel we, we're happy with him, we're positive, we're in a positive mindset and I feel the culture he brought in is such a massive difference in our, in our feeling, in our mindset, so we're very, very happy at this moment. Okay, beautiful. Can I go to some of the, the other, the other good-looking gen? I have to ask you, because you're obviously the agent. <laughs> Sorry. Either one of the models answer. Um, no. uh, but if I, look at, if I look at your coach, right, um, he, he's a tactician of note. He, he's, very, very, he's very deep in terms of that, that locker room. How's it been going with you guys? Um, looking at your history, you know, Varsity Cup debut, doing your thing, and now coming to 2021, wanting to win things. Paul True and his passion, has it been spilling over to the guys? Yeah, I think um, Coach Paul, is, uh, he has been there like over the highest coaching level, so yeah. I think it's, it's really good for the boys um, just to, to get this experience um, at Varsity Cup. So he's bringing a, a new dynamic to the team as well, um, different um, kinds of, of rugby, so yeah, it's just good to have him in the camp. Indeed, it is. Eh? That's yeah. why his surname is True, because there's a lot of honesty uh, in, yeah. in the camp as well, which is very, very important. But just in terms, uh, Clement, you know, as the, the UWC manager, how happy are you with, um, you know, just the, the overall performance of the boys so far? Even though they're here, you can tell them if they're not playing well. It's okay. <laughs> It'll motivate them. But, I mean, how are you feeling at this stage, um, not only given the results, but also just in terms of, I mean, the structure. I mean, these guys are potential Springboks one day as well, you know, and are they playing to their full potential? Well, I think for, I mean, this is probably one of the longest pre-seasons anybody has had. I mean, we've been busy for six months. Yeah. Um, and for guys that haven't played in over a year, um, after the, the, the first bubble, which is not easy, playing three games in the space of 10 days yes. at a high tempo, um, they're in a very good space. Our conditioning team and our medical team has been working unbelievably hard behind the scenes with our coaching staff. So we're quite happy with where the guys are. And obviously, all, all, there is room for improvement and work on But where we are now, we're quite happy. That's the, no, I'm, I'm happy too. Your next fixture, isn't that against uh, CUT? No, we've got is, is um, Northwest Pucker. Northwest, oh, the Puckers first, and eh? And then we've got Turkeys and then we've got UJ. Ooh, 
<laughs> Are those the that's that's quite a run of fixtures yeah, over there. Yeah, second bubble's quite tough. Uh, uh, there's so many bubbles going on. It's yeah. uh, hard to focus on the bubbles. It's like a large bath. <laughs> but uh, either way, just um, from your side, preparations going into the next couple of fixtures. How you guys been doing? Um, we took a lot from the first bubble. I think there was a lot of learning curves and things to take things to take out. So, from Shimla's to Marty's to the last game, I feel there was a lot of lot of work ons. But I think this week, as we restart, we reset, and we work towards the second bubble. So I feel we already started the prep for next week. So I feel positive. I'm excited. I'm motivated. So I can't wait for the second bubble to come. <laughs> That's it. I think he's saying that because you're sitting next to him. <laughs> I, I, I think he's definitely saying that's the that. the mood in the game, But that's the thing. You have to, you know, and, and it's important. So, Aidan, I actually just wanted to throw this at you as well. Is, is this, um, you know, when it comes to when you're playing and, and you're focusing on the game, etc. Uh, you know, are you, do you have a lingering thing in your mind about Springbok rugby eventually? Uh, that's, a, that's a good question, yeah. And I think it runs in every, every rugby player's mind to always think about, like, let me not let the team down. Let me not let the coach down. And at the end of the day, you, wanna, you have your goals and yeah. you set out the goals and you really want to achieve them. So. At the end of the day, yeah, it's, it's, it's everyone's goal to obviously play for the country. And, um, <laughs> yeah, but during the game day, you, you first want to think about the match and, yeah. and you want to think about doing the job right. Oh, beautiful stuff. But, I mean, this is exciting. Yeah. And, I mean, that is the, the goal. I know, you, it's, you know when you, you play varsity yeah. rugby, you know, it's obviously academics and the, yeah. balance, the balance is quite important as well. But when I look at the fixtures coming up, I know that there are some phenomenal ones. If I just, just look very quickly, as you mentioned, in fact, you gave us a fantastic rundown of the fixtures. But to you, gents, I know that coming up, uh, Vasta Cup action, you've got um, next Thursday, but the next bubble is going to be very, very tough, though. But the next match, the focus is definitely going to be there. And I can tell that you've got some focused gentlemen, not only very, very good looking, as mentioned, <laughs> but also guys who are ready to do their work for UWC Rugby. <laughs> so congratulations on a great structure. All the best to Coach Paul True and to Peter Stale, as well as Aiden and Lyle. All Thank the you. best to you guys. Thank Please you. bring on the results. Yeah. I live around the corner from UWC and I will come to knock on your door if, if nothing happens. <laughs> yeah. eh? If you need a scrum off, call me. I'll be right here on Expresso, your feel-good break show, right here on S3. And all the best to the UWC Rugby boys as well. Thank you. Thank you. Mm-hmm.